But first, a major change in routine for thousands of local families. Starting tomorrow, the vast majority of students and staff in Hillsborough County will now be required to wear a face mask as COVID-19 cases rise in the district and the community. And that new mandate is in place for the next 30 days. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. Jameson is on assignment. The Hillsborough County School Board became the first in our area to put a more restrictive mandate in place, but leaders did acknowledge this could mean consequences for the state. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell followed today's emergency meeting, and she explains what this means for families as they get children ready for a new school day tomorrow morning. After an hours long meeting, hearing from parents, public health experts and a lengthy discussion, the Hillsborough County School Board approved a 30 day mask mandate starting tomorrow through September 17th. After much discussion and debate, the Hillsborough County School Board voted to mandate masks for all students, teachers and staff with a medical exemption opt out effective for 30 days. Tonight, the district laid out COVID's current impact on schools. As of Wednesday morning, the district says more than 10,000 students, or 4.8% of the total student population, are in isolation or quarantine. The district explained right now, less than 1% of its current student and staff population in Hillsborough County Public Schools have reported a positive COVID case. Parents turned out on both sides of the mask debate. I have no problem if you wear your mask um, and if you want to stay home because you're scared, please do so. That is your right and your choice and I would like the same respect for my child. I would say personal choice ends when public health begins. The district says students who have a medical exemption to the mask mandate need to submit medical documentation from a doctor that the student has a medical, physical or psychological condition that prevents the student from being able to safely wear a mask. The next 48 hours, we're going to have to have some len leniency in that process. It's unfair for us at, you know, six o'clock at night to be able to tell our parents by tomorrow morning, everyone has to have masks. We're going to do that, but we're going to have to have some grace and compassion uh, within the next 48 hours to make certain that everyone has the accessibility and understanding what we're trying to implement. In enforcing the policy, Superintendent Addison Davis acknowledged it's definitely going to have challenges, but said the biggest thing is to do everything Thing they can to educate students and parents. And I think there may be some friction with parents' wishes related to the new plan, but we're going to help coach them through this. And it's for it's only 30 days. And while it may be uncomfortable, I get it. No one wants to wear a mask for those who uh, you know aspire not to. But sometimes we've got to do something that's greater for the community. During today's meeting, some board members aired concern over going against the governor's executive order, noting the potential financial ramifications. Still, board chair Lynn Gray Question. remarked to fellow members one area they can all agree on. They want their teachers, staff, and children to be safe. All I got to say, folks, is if we're just asking for a 30-day protective measure, isn't that the least we can do for our children? Isn't that if it saves one life, 10 hospitalizations, isn't that the least that we can do? And tonight we've also reached out to both the governor's office and the State Department of Education regarding this mask mandate and what consequences the district could face as a result. In Tampa tonight, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News. Mary, thank you. And just within the last two hours, we received the statement from Governor Ron DeSantis' office. It says the school board's decision is, quote, disappointing and also reads, quote, the forced masking of school children infringes upon parents' rights to make health and educational decisions for their own children. We're still waiting on word from the Department of Education about the possible consequences of defying the governor's order, which bans all mask mandates.